Hey, so recently I found a whole bunch of new Australian artists that I've absolutely been loving. One artist in particular, her name is G Flip. My name is Georgia Flippo and I make music under G Flip. She is a queer musician and she's from Melbourne, which is the city that I live in. She only has two songs out at the moment, which is unfortunate because she's so freaking talented. I think in the next year or so, she's just going to soar. She is unique. She has a cool style. Her sound is just so... Mwah, like, she's so good. So I had her songs on repeat and I decided that I wanted to do like a little mock EP cover for her. So I did four designs in my sketchbook. I've taken those designs and I've picked the one that I really like the most. And this video is basically me just chucking it in Photoshop and um, having a play around with it. So you should all definitely check out G Flip. She's got a YouTube channel. She does tour diaries. She's about to hit LA and she's gonna kill it. Check out her Instagram. She posts little snippets of other songs that she's covering or that she's working on. Her story, Insta story is like, <laughs> I don't know what the f is going on half the time, but I love it. I'm really excited to see where she goes. And even though I've only just kind of stumbled across her, I'm really proud of everything she has achieved so far. And I can't wait to see where she goes next. So uh, hopefully you like the video. And, uh, yeah. I started off by airdropping photos I took on my phone of my sketchbook straight onto my computer. I made a folder on my desktop specifically for the purpose of the video and called it G Flip. I imported the sketch that I decided I wanted to move forward with into a program called Medibang Paint Pro. In this video, I'll use Paint Pro and I also use Photoshop. I use Paint Pro just because it has a different brush that isn't available to me in Photoshop. After I import the sketch into Paint Pro, I jump onto GFlip's Instagram and find the reference photo that I was working from for the sketch. I decide it's gonna be easier to work with the photo on my phone, so I just jump back on Instagram there and crop the photo down. Of course, I need to listen to GFlip while I'm doing it, so I go on YouTube. Now that I'm all set up, I start my line art off. Scrolling through G Flip's Instagram and watching her YouTube videos, you can see that a big part of her look is her hat and her hair and her glasses. So those were obviously key aspects in the design that I've picked here. Above the layer for the sketch, I make a new layer for the line art. As I'm going along, I get kind of worried that I'm not gonna like how I draw the glasses over the top of the eyes and the eyebrow that I actually like. So I make a new layer for the glasses and I also do the same thing for the hat. When I started thinking about the design, I was just keeping in mind her current artwork that she has for herself. I was going for a black and white hand-drawn look. Still trying to keep in line with that existing artwork she has, I decided that I wasn't going to use a line drawing tool and that I was just going to hand draw it. So watch me struggle trying to draw a reasonably straight but also wonky looking line. Once I was happy with how the box on the outside was looking, I decided it was time to clean up some of the line work. I wanted to thicken up some of the lines and I played around adding in some more details in the hair and on the face. At this point I decided that I wanted to play around with the line art that I had already seeing as I was getting pretty happy with it. I wanted to try and give the artwork a 3D kind of effect but I decided that I didn't like it. I also didn't really know what I was doing. But this is an idea that I'd like to revisit in maybe another artwork. I jump back over to G Flip's Instagram and I grab her existing clock logo with the heart in it. I bring that into Paint Pro and I attempt to try and move it around the way that I want it, but I have not yet mastered all the tools in Paint Pro, so like a idiot, I put it into Photoshop and I use the tools that I'm more comfortable with. I lower the opacity on the G Flip text logo and trace over it just to give it a bolder and more unique kind of look. I attempt about 38,000 different times to draw the speech bubble until I'm finally happy with the one that I want. I then go back into Photoshop to get the placement of the broken heart. I decide that I want to give it one last try with that 3D look, but definitely decide that I'm not happy with it. And then I was finished with the line art, and that was originally where I was going to leave it because I wanted to stay on track with that black and white look that she has. I decided I wanted to keep going and play around with some colours. G Flip wears some really cool outfits. A lot of them are very colourful, so I tried to get inspiration from that. I tried doing some normal flat looking colours with some highlights and then a blue border. I decided I didn't really like that. So then I took some of the pink that I had used for the highlights on the skin and tried to put that on there as well. I was starting to like how this was looking, so then I decided I wanted to try and bring some more pink elements into it and tried to do a heart pattern. 
Of course, I had to take this back into Photoshop to try and get the placement that I wanted. I decided that the flat colours I had were clashing too much with the blue and the pink design that I had, which I was liking more than the flats. Still wanting to keep some of that rough black and white look, I erased the blue out of the heart and out of the hair. I brought back in some of the yellow I had used initially in her hair and added some extra highlights around the design. And then I was done and ended up with something very reminiscent of Rocco's Modern Life. I saved the colour and the black and white ones separately. I think the colour one would look good as a EP design and the other one would look cool on a t-shirt. You're right there.